And then of course, last would be measuring success. So of course, you might be thinking, Allison, that sounds like a lot, but I want to just talk about the East Coast Historical Society. So that's a little section, the East Hants community in Nova Scotia, tiny, tiny little organization that, that basically is doing restorative practice and restorative work in a little museum in Selma about all the history around the East Hants community. And when they started, and we started working together in the spring of last year, they had 86 contacts, and it was literally a physical piece of paper that they gave out to their monthly events, but they would also post it on Facebook, and then they would email it to about 86 emails on a, on like a, on a Gmail list, right? So in May, we relaunched their website into a WordPress site and we made sure to SEO just, and it was just formatted. We didn't create new content with their site. We just simply made sure that the headings were right, that all of our images had alt tags and all that good stuff. And they also switched to MailChimp. It was a very deep conversation and we finally got everyone on board to get away from the paper and onto the newsletter. And we put it on the homepage, on the sidebar. In addition to that, they went and did an intensive Facebook campaign all summer during a pandemic. This little museum is only open two months of the year. And their, their research center is kind of this thing that they can shift around home to home. It doesn't even really necessarily have a permanent resident all the time. So they did daily postings on Facebook of all these old YouTube videos they had lying, or lying around the internet for years. They already had content that they were scanning as part of their historical um, documentation anyway. So they would just scan it in and put up on Facebook. And also anytime someone emailed them or asked them or called them about certain information, they would put that information, that, that piece of content up there. So they were really determined on Facebook to kick it out of the park and be posting often. So what happened? By November, they had 250 signups. They did nothing extra. They just went from that non sign up location to having it on the site in key areas that I talked about 250 character uh, contacts by by November. And in January, they had 89% increase in organic impressions, which meant when they switched that website over those six months period, because we had SEO it a little bit, all of a sudden the bots were like, oh, we understand the context of this website so much better. So we're going to start thinking about you for more keywords, which resulted in a 31% increase in organic traffic. <laughs> and over that time, it was immense. And according to the president, she said, look, after the work we did, we had more international contacts as far away as Seattle, Australia, and Atlanta. And some of them are now paying membership dues and donating to the society. Before people, because these are people who are expats in Nova Scotia who are donating to it. She goes, I'm certain that having the new website and this new MailChimp email newsletter approach had everything to do with that success. 